Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you my ultimate two-player gaming setup which takes two-player split screen to another level and I'll include details for all the items I'll be showing today in the description below including purchasing links but before we begin drop me a comment let me know which two-player game you'd want to play with a friend or someone in your family and if you're new to the channel hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of my next release. Now if you enjoy playing two player split screen games or playing online with friends you're going to love this. I've been upgrading my living room setup over the last few months and really wanted to make the most of the space I had. The room is pretty bright throughout the day so the TV I went for is LG's QNED mini LED which is 75 inches in size and perfect for bright rooms with less glare than an OLED. And the screen is brighter than an OLED plus there's no risk of screen burning. It's a 4K TV with two HDMI 2.1 ports, so perfect for the big screen gaming experience with both a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Playing games like Mortal Kombat is perfect on this, on the massive 75 inch screen. But how about Apex Legend or even Fortnite? Not all games support two player split screen, but when they do, the viewing angles reduced, which is less than ideal. So for my setup, I placed a motorized projector screen at the side of the room to use in conjunction with a gaming projector, giving me the flexibility of being able to introduce a secondary screen on demand. And when not in use, I can hide it away again. The projector screen has an ALR screen, which stands for ambient light rejection, which means it allows you to use a projector in a bright room or in a room with lights on. But obviously you need a decent projector with good brightness levels to make the most of this. The screen's available in a number of sizes, but I went for the 100 inch version. And the projector I'm using is the BenQ X3000i, which supports a 4K resolution capable of projecting up to 150 inches. It doesn't have HDMI 2.1 ports, but unlike other projectors, it's optimized for gaming. So it can do 4K at 60 Hertz with a 16 millisecond response time. But if you lower the resolution to 1080p, you can get a 240 Hertz refresh rate with a four millisecond response time. But that would have to be a gaming PC. Distance wise with the projector screen, it's worked out perfectly, allowing me to get the full 100 inch projection by having the projector at the other end of the room. Performance in the daytime is not bad. Nothing amazing, but still usable. But in a dark room, the picture quality looks stunning. Check this out as a side-by-side -side comparison against a TV, which is pretty impressive for a projector, as you can see. Now to show this in action, I've got my PlayStation 5 connected to my TV and my Xbox Series X connected to my projector via a long HDMI cable. Now here's the advantage of having an ALR screen, as the brightness given off from the TV doesn't wash out any of the picture quality on the projector screen, ensuring you still have an excellent viewing experience. I've started up Fortnite and jumping into a game, the experience is amazing with the dual big screen setup. On the QNED mini LED TV, you can see how well it performs with the vivid and bright colors in Fortnite, and it does a great job with the colors looking really vibrant. And as the TV supports HDR10 Pro, it enhances the colors on the screen making it more vivid and gives more detail. Gameplay looks amazing and images look so much clearer even in fast paced scenes. There's no motion handling and the detail in the scenes are really sharp. The 4K screen and the full array dimming zones deliver precise backlit control and an ultra high contrast ratio making the dark areas in the game look dark and the detail on the picture does look sharp even when the scene does go quite dark. But it's not as good as my OLED TV as the very dark scene do look more grey than black, but for an LCD, the blacks are still very impressive. Onto the projector, picture quality is absolutely stunning on the ALR screen with its 100% DCI P3 giving a wider color gamut that's powered by BenQ's cinematic color technology. It's able to deliver the colors authentically and in the way they're intended. Darker scenes are more watchable as the picture quality is still good and clarity is clear. Brighter scenes do look better, but the dark scenes don't wash out and you can see what's happening on the screen pretty well. And even with the ambient light coming from the TV, it still looks awesome. 
This doesn't support HDMI 2.1, so there's no 4K at 120 hertz. The maximum you can get here is 4K at 60 hertz with an input lag of 16 milliseconds, which is really good for a projector as that's the average you'd get on a standard TV. And I've had this set up for a week now and played a number of multiplayer games on here with my kids, ranging from Apex Legends, Call of Duty and Fortnite. And the experience with the two massive screens is so much fun. And obviously it's more sociable being in the same room sound level wise you can sort of get away with gaming without headphones but at times it can get distracting with the sound from the other player gaming but if i need to overcome that i've got two wireless headphones so the razer kyra pro for my xbox and the logitech g pro x for my playstation and using these makes the experience even more immersive. So far, I'm loving the setup and it really does take two player split screen gaming to the next level in your living room. And the biggest advantage here is that you can pack it away when it's not in use. So there you have it. You made it to the end of another video and I hope you enjoyed it. Details for all the items I've shown today are in the description below. And if you're still here, drop me a player two as it's nice to see who got to the end of my videos. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.